Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James in Nashville and let's do a video on the 11B trailer and a little bit about 11B and what may go on. Spoiler alert, of course, if you're not caught up to season 11 of The Walking Dead. In this video, I want to look at the question, did Lance give fake Stephanie to CRM and what relationship does CW have with them? But first, let's go over a few key shots in the 11B trailer. We know that Yumiko found her brother Tommy at Commonwealth. He was working at Elodie's Bakery. Carol seems to have taken his spot there after they get to CW. And in the episode's synopsis, uh, by episode two, it says several weeks have passed with many of Alexandria's people fitting in at CW. So there will be a time jump of a month or so. Could be longer. We saw Eugene at a table, surely waiting for fake Stephanie, holding two ice cream cones. Then we see much later, he's still there, uh, ice cream's melted or he ate them both. The chairs are turned up on the tables. Hardly no one's around anymore. Poor Eugene, he waited on her all day. If you remember back when Magna's group came into the show, they were in the church at Alexandria being asked questions. Magna said she was a truck stop waitress. This was season nine, episode six. Connie said she was a journalist and Kelly was still in high school, but she added that Connie's being modest, that she exposed a bunch of sleazeball politicians and put them behind bars. So it looks like both sisters may now be working as journalists at Commonwealth. They're wearing what looks to be, could be press lanyards. But now the big question, how does CRM fit into all of this? And is this what happened to fake Stephanie? The theory that Lance is working with CRM has been around a while, and I'm not 100% with it just yet. The clues people presented do not persuade me all the way. But we do know pretty sure that CRM does know about Commonwealth. I've done a video on it and I forgot. I asked some people in the comments um, and ended up having to Google it again because I totally forgot where exactly Scott Gimple said that and exactly what he said. And it was on Talking Dead and he just was asked by a fan to CRM no Commonwealth and he just said we'll see it in season 11. And he said that pretty much spoils it by even answering it even that way. We know that they pretty much know each other. We just don't know how exactly. He didn't lay that out and we haven't really been told. So the theory is that Lance is somehow working with CRM or at the least Commonwealth could be working with CRM. Where the hell is my brother? He's fine. You made an appointment with Pamela. Even after I told you and your friends that I was taking care of things. I almost screwed everything up. So when Lance was speaking with Yumiko, that's a big passage right there that a lot of people, I think, uh, misinterpreted a little bit. But he said that he would like to be friends with Yumiko because he knows she will be a higher up, an important person, and he wants her on his side pretty much. Your people need help, right? And you want your friends who broke the law to go free. Those are big asks. I can deliver for you. Lance was responsible for taking Tommy. You know, Tommy got just taken off the street. You kidnapped my brother off the street. Why? And... Yumiko addresses that, and Lance answers, He'll be home tonight. That's how much time I need. So why does he just need that much time with Tommy? Because Tommy's a surgeon, and they're going to fix Ezekiel. Lance is going to fix Ezekiel using Tommy to show the group, I did something for you. I may ask one of you, like the lawyer, the Yumiko, the higher up, ask them one day for that favor in return. That's what he's talking about. He's going to fix Ezekiel. Then he says, your people's in trouble. And you want some of your friends out of jail that have committed crimes. Those are big ask. There must be something in it for you. A friend in high places. Someday I might need a favor. So what Lance is doing is setting up situations where he helps the group tremendously, especially with like Ezekiel. And at some point he expects that favor in return because he is plotting against Pamela. And I think... Uh, Lance and Mercer are working together, so I'm not sure Mercer would easily go along with CRM, though he is a West Point graduate. But could Lance be dealing with CRM alone, away from Mercer, away from Pamela? Does Pamela know of CRM? Many fans' idea that CRM goes around destroying communities is false. I mean, they have Omaha and Campus Colony, and they were about to destroy Portland, but they had different motives there. Um, now, will they try to kill anyone that sees them? They do. Do they cut deals with small communities to get test subjects? They do. But let's go strictly by the show's own set timeline. World Beyond was 10 years in, at the end of that, uh, beginning and end, around 10 years in. The Walking Dead is now 12 years in. At the end of World Beyond, the scientists left and all the data was taken. If Commonwealth traded people to CRM before that, 
do they still after the events of World Beyond? Did CRM restart the program with new scientists? If they didn't, what is the relationship now that that changed? And what about that thing in the paper on World Beyond that we saw uh, Huck reading, the main reason we think they destroyed Omaha and Campus Colony, that control of CRM was about to be given over to the civilians. Major General Bill was not going to let that happen. Did it happen or was it stalled? We don't know. So did Lance give Stephanie away to CRM? My theory is no. Is Lance and CRM working together? Maybe, but the jury's not in yet on my theory there. Uh, is Pamela? Maybe, and I think that's more likely she's working with CRM than Lance is, maybe. Commonwealth in general, do they are they just working with CRM and they have been all along? Pamela knows, Lance knows, Mercer knows. Uh, you know, is it does it work that way? But as of this video, I'm going to go with the theory that fake Stephanie was killed. I could say captured or arrested for helping Eugene do something, but she just up and, and disappeared. And there's these weird uh, suspects that Eugene's trying to investigate and stuff. So Sebastian may be involved, uh, the five suspects on Eugene's board, or just cleaning up his mess, maybe. Um, and, you know, it would seem like people would be alarmed at Commonwealth that someone's missing. I do wonder what the crime rate is at Commonwealth. But on the Sebastian killing fake Stephanie thing, here's my theory at the moment. The second part of season 11 is going to be a big part of the ending toward the ending of the comics. The, the riots, the rebellion, everything's going to start happening um, all the way up to finding out that Sebastian killed fake Stephanie. Could that take the place of what happened in the comics of who Sebastian killed in the comics? He killed a really big character, the biggest character. And of course, there was a statue built and stuff, but who could take that place? There's no one big enough to probably for him to take out. It could be Father Gabriel. It could be a Rosita. It could be Ezekiel or somebody like that. You know, Sebastian could take out someone and still be uh, like his second murder. Maybe he kills fake Stephanie and he actually does kill somebody else. And it just comes out, hey, this dude's a murderer. He also killed uh, fake Stephanie. We're finding out finally and all this kind of stuff. But could fake Stephanie take the place of that because we're going to have a different ending. Um, the, the murder that he gets arrested for ends up being fake Stephanie. All of that happens once the rebellion and the riots and everything uh, uh, come to head. Someone can still get Dwight's death then, Magna or Rosita or Gabriel. But then we have part C for it all to play out. But how does CRM tie into that? We do see a helicopter in the intro, and I don't think they would have just put it there for, for the looks. I think it does mean something. It will portray to something, meaning we should see something dealing with CRM in the show. And I think it'll be 11C, which will really build up really big like that there's something bigger out there. And that's what the universe is going to go to, the movies, things like that, uh, leaving the show, this being the last season. But we're going to continue to see things. We're going to continue to see spinoffs and different things like that. The story will continue, and 11C will really set that up, I think, and put that into perspective. At the same time, showing the ones that are just going to stay at Alexandria and possibly Commonwealth that they don't necessarily have to fit into the bigger picture, just their picture. Well, that's enough rambling from me. Let me hear your rambling down in the comments below, and I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff.